Welcome back, YouTube. I'm gearing up to finish a race that I had postponed a while back, and I was planning on doing it with the Mongoose and Snake Drag Race set. But before I got to the race, I thought we would crack into it and see what's going on. It looks like it has some really cool features. So let's check it out. All right, everybody, today we are talking about the Hot Wheels Classics Mongoose and Snake Drag Race set. With 28 feet of racing grade track, two daredevil loops, automatic checkered flag, shoot set and brake traps, two cars included, and this is a 2006 remake of the 1969 version. And if you're wondering why I'm opening it today, right there, those two drag shoot sets I have got to see what that's all about. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, and there's everything from inside the box, including the cars. And let me tell you, when you get something off of eBay like this, as easy it is, easy as it is, to open up these packages that Hot Wheels has and, you know, re them shut. I, I seriously thought the cars probably wouldn't be in here. That's awesome. All right, let's get these open, let's take a look at them. All right, and here are the cars. A couple of really awesome, funny cars. And of course, they've got the little kickstand to keep the body up. That's just great. Open. These are the parachutes that come with it. Seems like it's got a little metal clip on it that attaches to the car somehow. That's crazy. A little parachute on a Hot Wheels. All right, enough looking at all the pieces in pieces. Let's get this put together and see how those parachutes work. Okay, so I'm running into a slight problem. I don't have enough room in my room to actually get these cars to go down the track to hit the parachute show you what's going on here though. The parachute sits right there, packed in this little uh, container. The car comes across, hooks up, takes the parachute with it. So I'll show you the finish line real quick because I'm actually going to take the finish line out just to get the parachute catch a little bit closer. So we there's a little Flap dealy on the back, connected to those two little pins. Whichever one gets triggered first, the flap is supposed to fall onto the other side, blocking the other opponent. There's that, we're gonna take that out, and we're gonna set up the parachute and see what happens. But we took the finish line out. I moved up the parachutes right to the front, so we have a nice long section of track to see what those parachutes do. I really doubt they're gonna pop open, but they're pretty stiff material and they're already kind of like set in an open position. So if it can catch enough wind to kind of lift up a little bit, that's gonna look really sweet, so. but the loop seems to be slowing them down. Also, the way the starter is designed, it's really hard to put it up high enough to get speed because the cars want to fall off the ramp pretty much straight away. So I'm going to take some of my own set pieces. We're going to connect them to the parachute set. And we're going to see if we can get a little bit more speed and make it a whole lot more interesting. All right, we've extended the track. We got our parachutes a little bit closer. 
and we've taken out the loop and gone a lot higher with our start. I have my larger track pieces with the larger walls going down the ramp right here so they don't fall off. And let's see if we can get those parachutes to work a little bit better. Here, the parachutes are actually doing their job. If you see Mad Mike went flying past into the hat, and the junior here actually slowed down and stopped. your mongoose and snake drag race set I want to thank everyone for hanging out hope you guys are out hunting hope you guys are out finding cool things doing cool things like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one